What's going on, folks? This is Pete from Record, Upload, Repeat. Don't forget to hit that, you know, thumbs up and, you know, subscribe. So what are we doing today? We are back at the Alamo, and we are going to see that new movie called Snowden. And uh, I'm going to explain what I thought of the ending, give you an explanation of it, and my review, and all that stuff. It stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt. It's based on a true story about how he is a hacker, finding out people's information and he's a traitor to some but a hero to others i'll explain a little bit more later but we're here at the alamo let's go do our thing and today's secret comment code is going to be snowy day comment that down below and let's get into it All right, everybody, so I just got out of seeing the movie Snowden, and uh, I'm going to give you my review, explanation of the uh, end of the credits, explanation of the ending, and um, that's coming up. All right, guys and girls out there, so I am back in my natural habitat of being a sloppy dude, but we're just hanging out here. This is like we're all hanging out in a basement this is what we're doing so anyway to basically sum up the movie um just before i even get into anything else it was really really good it was very interesting but you really need to pay attention because there's a lot of foreshadowing of things that happen later on in the movies though that's just a heads up okay um there are going to be some spoilers here so if you don't want spoilers click out of the video now all right anyway so let's move on. So basically to sum up the ending and ex explain it and talk about the end uh, credits of the movie, uh, Edward Snowden wanted to expose the United States government for um, the fact that they were using his programs for bad and, it, and basically spying on everyone, like anywhere and everyone through any kind of technology, you know, being able to turn on webcams and uh, when, you know, when the computer isn't even on and, uh, you know, through your text messaging, phone calls, Skype calls, social media, Facebook, everything, they could check everything and anything, even the stuff that you have private. Uh, and he made that you know, well known because he felt that it was an invasion of people's privacy and it was just overall wrong to do. And uh, what ends up happening is he is no longer welcome in the United States due to espionage and all the other, uh, you know, all the other crimes he was pretty much convicted of without being convicted. Um, so he ends up finally in Moscow, Russia, where is where he's still at today. And, um, as, you know, and then you basically just find out that he's only supposed to be there for three years and then he has to go somewhere else. But, um, at the end of the movie, you actually get to see the real Edward Snowden kind of finishing things off. And after the credits, like during the credits, you see all the different newscasts when everything went down a few years back, uh, in 2013. And, uh, it, that was pretty much the sum of it. I mean, I can't really explain too much more, but... It basically comes out to be that he was a hero, I guess, to the world and an enemy to the United States, like a traitor, as they say. But they just basically go and explain and show how he was able to get all these files out and made public through the news, through journalists, and uh, how he just got it out there and basically screwed over the NSA. Very interesting movie. Really, really good. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a terrific actor. And person and uh, I would highly recommend you go see it so today's other secret comment code if you made it to the end of this video is gonna be the snow must fall comment that down below and of course if you made it to the end of this video smack that thumbs up button I really appreciate it and uh, you know don't forget to subscribe this is Pete from record upload repeat saying I'll see you guys tomorrow same place same channel same fat dude see you then